to my channel. Hope you guys are all still doing good. You're home, staying safe, waiting for this to all be over like myself. I am just dreaming of the day where this is all over. I can get back to my usual life. I miss working. I miss working. I miss my typical life. I miss talking to customers, putting makeup on customers, and you know, the everyday thing, Taking even taking my daughter to school, I miss my routine, and I'm sure most of you guys are too. One of the things that I miss the most is putting on makeup. I miss getting cute and walking out the door and you know, going to work or whatever it may be, but I miss doing that, I miss putting on makeup, and that is the reason why I did another makeup tutorial for you guys. So, last makeup tutorial, if you guys haven't seen that, I will link it down below. But it is about these little mini bite-sized e.l.f. palettes. And I was so impressed with the formula, I had to do another makeup look with this one. This is the one that really gravitated me to the most. This is my favorite one. Um, this one's called Carnival Candy. And I just fell in love so much with the quality of these eyeshadows, let alone that they're only $3 each. They're so inexpensive. I ended up going online and I went ahead and ordered all of them because the quality is great and for $3, you can't beat that. So I did a look with this one and I actually did a collaboration. Well, I had some girls ask me to collaborate with them on a video that if you guys haven't seen it, it's on my Instagram. And that is the makeup look I'm wearing. So if you guys like that makeup look, this video is the tutorial for that makeup look. So I joined TikTok. It's more so for me to watch videos, um, which is what I've been doing a lot. I swear to you guys, one day I spent almost the entire day watching TikTok videos, almost the entire day. And I will be honest, it felt good. It felt good because I wasn't listening to the news and I laughed so hard. I had so much fun watching them and I needed that. I needed to see everyone from around the world just getting together from, from nurses doing dances to you know young kids staying at home with their parents doing dances. And all of that makes me feel so good and it makes me so happy because we're all we're all in this together we're all home we're regardless of what the circumstance is you're home with your family and you need time to pass by you need to let the time pass by and in the meantime why not have fun and do these cute videos so one day i spent the entire day watching tiktok laughing so hard my daughter was watching a bunch of videos in there too and that's why another reason that made me look at tiktok because i kept hearing the same songs over and over so yeah i think it's pretty funny so i had a group of girls that are also beauty influencers they got together and asked me to collaborate with them and do this video for them so if you haven't seen that video you need to go into my instagram and see it the look that you see in that video is the tutorial i'm doing for you guys today so if you guys like that makeup look you must stick around to see the entire tutorial of that makeup look and yes excuse my daughter you can hear her in the background you're always gonna eat, hear one of my kids yelling and screaming in the background um, so yeah guys I hope you guys are all doing good and you're staying safe and you're just keeping yourselves at home no matter how hard it is to stay at home just stay home because we want this to be over and get back to our normal lives so yeah that is it if you guys want to see how I created this makeup look then just keep watching okay good morning guys i am going to get started with my brows i'm not going to film my brows you've seen me do my brows many times if you want to see a just brow in-depth tutorial i will link it down below but for now let's get my brows on and brows are on i'm such a dork i've always wanted to do that anyways guys this is going to be a voiceover so i hope you guys don't mind uh, it's so much easier just to do my makeup um, and then just do a voiceover afterwards but what I started out prepping my eyelid was the Pro Revolution um, eyeshadow primer now I started with that um, caramel like a camel color type color I'm so bad at describing colors but the light brown color in the palette that's the color that I started with it does have like a little bit of a red undertone that's why it looks a little reddish but Yes, that's the lighter brown color in the palette and I'm using that in my crease, blending back and forth and making it nice and buffed.
I'm going to grab the red from the palette and I'm going to pack it on right there in my crease just on top of the brown color um, but just concentrating a little bit lower than the very top of the crease you know look at this pigment you guys full on pigment and that is the reason why I'm using this type of brush because it allows me to just like place the pigment place the powder the shadow right there so you get more payoff when you use a flat brush like this as opposed to a blending brush obviously so I'm just packing on the red and then later I'm gonna blend it out and now I'm checking out the blue to see how the blue is gonna look which is something I kind of do all the time I put it on my finger and then I turn it around to see how it's gonna look and of course I'm gonna love it because this blue is amazing but before um, I continue I'm about to grab a wipe and I am gonna clean off the red that is on the eyelid because I decided that I am going to put a little bit of concealer. You know that trick I always do? Um, it's not a trick. You know what I mean. I put concealer underneath so that I can let that blue be very powerful. So when you put concealer as your primer, the blue will stand out a lot more. Sorry guys, I thought I was recording. So I'm just applying the blue here on the lid, the area that I applied the concealer. I'm just packing it on and now I'm just going to blend my crease. And grab the lightest color from the palette to highlight the brow bone. Now I'm going to use this little cream shadow that they have in a stick. It's like a shimmery, liquidy, creamy <laughs> um, eyeshadow from e.l.f. I can't even tell you what the name is because I can't see it. Um, but the color, I want to say it's called Ocean Eyes. And I'm placing that on top of the blue to make it more pronounced and more shimmery. Now I'm grabbing my Ardell Wispies, my favorite Ardell Lashes, clamping them on with these tweezers, making sure that they're nice and tight against my lash line. Now I'm going to pop my Sheer Glow Foundation on a plate because I am going to mix it with this Tinted Glow Booster from NARS. Amazing, amazing stuff. You could wear this alone or you could wear it and mix it with foundation and it gives you this beautiful blurring effect. I am as pale as I've ever been in my life, you guys. Um, afterwards, I kind of used my um, Too Faced Dewy Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray to make my skin more refreshed and more dewy and now I'm using um, this new brush that I bought from I want to say Sonia Kashuk at Target it's her new collection um, these really pretty pink and rose gold brush it's really nice it feels very soft on the skin Also make sure when using a foundation brush to you to apply your foundation I always get a more precise precision um, like a concealer brush to make sure I get these little areas and these little corners that your brush does not reach especially around the brow now I'm using my concealer I'm going back to my Tarte Shape Tape I'm mixing these two because um, I am a little pale I think I have light neutral and the medium I want to say it's medium, light neutral and medium. Once I am done applying the concealer in the areas that I want to blend it out, make it more smooth, I'm using the new e.l.f. Um, just a tiny elf sponge that I love so much. I love the shape. I love the softness. It's really, really nice for concealer. Mm -hmm. 
I'm still using my Physicians Formula Organic Wear, the Sculpting Bronzer. I love this thing. Um, my skin's been very dry lately, so I've been doing a lot of cream contour. And this is very smooth and very blendable. It doesn't leave you patchy. Um, it wears nice under powder. Now I'm going to use the e.l.f. Soft Luminous Setting Powder. I've had this powder for a while and decided to use it since I'm using a couple e.l.f. products. And surprisingly, it worked great. Guys, if you have more normal to dry skin and you're not into powders, give this one a try. It's very affordable and I really did love the way it wore on my skin. And now I'm using this for the first time ever, the NARS Matte Laguna Bronzer. This is the new bronzers that NARS came out with. Um, obviously, Laguna is one of their OGs, but this is a new formula. And you guys, look at the pigment on this bronzer. I could not believe it. When I swatched it, I didn't even see that much of pigment on the swatch, but this bronzer is no joke. It has, again, that blurring effect that NARS is doing with a lot of their formulas. It looks so soft on the skin. It feels soft, a lot softer than all the powders they've made before. So if you guys are looking for a new bronzer, you have to check this out. It is so beautiful on the skin. Now I'm using the new Orgasm X. Again, I'm using it very lightly because this color is very 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 strong and that's the reason why i'm using this brush but yeah this is the new orgasm x blush from nars and this highlighter is one of my favorite ones that nars makes this is ibiza highlighter it's really nice it's got that beautiful champagne goldy undertone it's not crazy strong it's just right and i love 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 this highlighter Now to continue the eyes on the under eye area, let's grab the beautiful blue with this liner brush. You can either stamp it or swipe it across, but you want to place this on your lash line, the lower lash line, um, you know, to create like an eyeliner effect. Now with a smudge brush, I'm going to grab the red and I'm going to place it a little underneath the blue still keeping the blue like a nice you know a little pronounced but just smudging it out a little bit underneath with this red here I'm also getting a more a, a little bit of a thicker smudge brush a little bit less dense and I grabbed the brown and I'm smudging that underneath to kind of give it that blown out effect underneath the red some more of that do you Too Faced fresh glow setting spray and now to my mascara I have still using this mascara I love this mascara from uh, butter of London um, this is the Power Up Mascara and I'm also using a little bit of mascara primer from Pure Cosmetics for my lower lash. You don't see me apply it, but I always transfer mascara on my lid, um, on my skin, so I do use primer on my lower lashes. I'm just touching up my beauty mark. It gets covered in foundation and I like it just pronounced a little bit. And now I'm using my Morphe lip liner in Sweet Tea. I really like this lip liner. This is like a really nice go-to lip liner if you like to wear nude lipsticks because it goes with most nudes.
here I'm gonna try this for the first time the Stila um, stay all day liquid lipstick which they are they Stila makes great liquid lipsticks but this one is in um, a luminier shimmer it's got like a shimmer undertone which um, I typically wear more mattes uh, liquid lips so this is something a little new for me this has a little shimmer in it and I ended up loving it you guys and I topped it up with pink slip um, lip gloss by Stila and I fell in love that is all guys I hope you guys are doing good please don't forget to leave me some ideas down below DM me on Instagram and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe on your way out share with a friend and i will see you on my next video thank you guys for watching